Childbirth is supposed to be a happy time for women, yet according to the state health department, one in eight new mothers experiences postpartum depression. It's a serious psychiatric disorder that threatens the health of the mother and her baby. As NJN News health and medical correspondent Sarah Lee Kessler reports, New Jersey is in the forefront of raising awareness. How's Sarah enjoying motherhood? She's not. I've never seen her so depressed. It's been three years since the New Jersey Department of Health and Senior Services launched its Speak Up When You're Down campaign to raise awareness about postpartum depression. My family got help, so can yours. Don't go through it alone. In New Jersey, between 11 and 16,000 women suffer from postpartum depression every year. It's the number one complication of pregnancy. But often, if you speak to an obstetrician, they don't want to frighten women, that sort of paternalistic attitude. Well, I think women are a lot more robust and strong than that, and I think they'd like to know. It was so devastating, but also so shameful. At a training and seminar in Edison know. yesterday for healthcare professionals, PPD survivors shared their harrowing stories, including intrusive thoughts. We love our children. So seeing my, in my head, my son burning in the oven, smelling his flesh. We're just, you know, where does that come from? New Jersey is the only state that requires mandatory PPD screening before a new mother leaves the hospital. It also offers a website and toll-free hotline number. PPD survivor Mary Jo Cody, New Jersey's former first lady, told the group, Everyone in this room is, in part, is part of that important safety net because you are all in a position to observe new mothers and spot the symptoms. PPD warning signs include trouble sleeping or sleeping too much, changes in appetite, feeling hopeless, crying uncontrollably, lack of interest in family and friends, feeling guilty or worthless. Having an event like this today lets everyone know that it's real, diagnosable, and most importantly, it's treatable. Sarah Lee Kessler, NJN News, Edison.